Hey, um, so this is going to be a, a quick overview of uh, the code for uh, Fstretch. So I'm not going to go too much into details, but uh, just overview of the whole project. So here we're in uh, Visual Studio in Windows, and uh, the project is split into the header files and a couple of source files here. So pretty much the header file, you got like uh, like a couple like uh, headers that you source uh, from this file, and uh, you know like if you do some programming, you know what a header file is, and. Um, the other ones are like the main, the main thing that uh, was happening in here is in the fstretch.cpp, all the computing, all the deformation, uh, of the plugins all happening in there. The, there's the initialize here with some stuff, a uh, couple of maths procedure in this one, and uh, here for the other wrapping that's happening. And the deformation, I just split that, uh, split that one up in uh, another file because that was a bit more convenient. This one was getting getting a bit uh, crazy to do on its own. So figure out how to split that up too. So let's go with the header. So here, just a couple of like basic uh, Maya header here. Um, okay, here, this is just um, like all the procedure that you can find in the wrap file here. That's all the procedure that are found in the mats. And here's some macros. If you want to know more about like all these like macros and like there's going to be a lot of stuff that is kind of by default in any Maya plugin you find these things so you can go um, in the Maya folder and open up like uh, from the dev kit there's a couple of examples there and they have like all these sort of default things and so you can like play with these to try to understand a bit more of that like this sort of thing here, like class, mpx deformer node, uh, check status, whatever. So here, all these guys are all the attributes that are found on the the on the node. So if we go in Maya, we go. Let's just create. That stretch node here. So all these guys, pretty much, all these attributes, they're all in here. A good numbers of them. Um, okay, here I'm just declaring some uh, some attributes, uh, some variables. Sorry, uh, a couple arrays that are going to be needed in the calculation. A couple more variable here that are gonna be needed. Some arrays to store a couple of information during the deformation. And that's pretty much it for the header. Now the the main dish pretty much it's this file. Okay, so here again all uh, the variable uh, the attributes sorry of the node. Okay, the compute part here. So whenever you, the, the actual uh, deformation is happening, um, so whenever like you move the, like your geometry or you go through the time frame or whenever like it get triggered and refresh, it's all happening in the compute part. So that's where all the deformation is happening. So this procedure looks like is is very big actually and it looks something like that okay here this part is just um, about uh, OpenMP OpenMP is for multi-threading so if you go in here 
when you go to um, to here, like all of these different guys, they're all like uh, different threads. And when you when you like, if you don't multi thread, you're just using one of these. So when you use OpenMP, it lets you use like all of these for some stuff. Some stuff you cannot. Some stuff you can. Um, so that's what OpenMP is all about, and it speeds up things a lot. So it it lets you run things in parallel. So there's some code that just by the logic of it you have to run in a serial way so one after two after three after four right and there's some part where you can run in parallel so one two three four all running in line in parallel so it just depends on the logic of your code if you go in here use all available processor and um, that's what that's what uh, openmp is about it's this part here so if you just let this one uh, on by default, it's going to take everything your computer has. Otherwise, you can specifically say, like, oh, just take some of it. Usually, you just leave that like that. It's all good. OK, so um, okay, here's just getting the envelope attribute. Here's getting uh, the geo, just requesting the, the handle with the geometry so we can actually do stuff on it. Most of these are pretty much like by default in a differ, uh, in a deformer, it's like all of you're, you're using all of these commands. So here it's just saying like if the envelope here is at zero, so just don't run all the rest of the function and stop there. Here we're getting all the paint data. So when you go here, paint, and you start painting different attributes. So that's all the paint data. Um, here we're getting all the different meshes because we can actually connect different uh, meshes to your node. So if I duplicate this guy, shrink it, and I go this, this, connect, stretch, and you know, like right now, as I'm moving it like this, it's going to stretch, right, using this one. So it has to actually request like this mesh here. So, and there's a good number of them that you can have. So there's all of these here, all of that. So here we're requesting um, all of these meshes. Just getting pretty much the position of the vertex from all these individual meshes. Yeah, just dealing with these again getting more attributes here getting the values of like whatever the attributes all over here are so we can do more information with it uh, getting the ramp attributes here okay here it's actually using the number of processor you specified uh, you specified here so okay here create the mesh verse iterator iterator is like when you go through all the points you iterate through every single point of the whole geo so that's an iterator Here we have like all the verts of our geo store in that uh, verts uh, variable here. 